The fly I'm going to be tying today I called a granum parachute. Um, this fly is meant to um, replicate a, it's a hybrid kind of, it's meant to replicate a, uh, uh, a granum caddis uh, pupa suspended in the film. Um, the granum caddis is one of the, uh, the more exciting hatches here in the springtime. It's a, it's a great hatch. They tend to hatch in cold water, and that's the reason why it's springtime. Uh, anyway, to talk a little bit about the life cycle of the caddis, a caddis is a, a, a bug that lasts, lives about a, a year. Um, they, they live in the rocks on the bottom, uh, most times in swift current. Uh, uh, tail waters of dams are, are very good places to find... Uh, find caddis larva. There's so many different varieties of caddis. There's hundreds of varieties and if you were to ask an expert they might find it tough and make maybe even impossible to identify them all as adults. One of the ways you can identify them is as a larva. Um, uh, certain caddis have a different way of living as larva on the bottom. There's some that that spin webs like spiders and are, are uh, living in those webs, feeding on the plankton that the webs collect. Others um, are in rocky cases that cocoon like things that they build out of small pebbles along the, the rocks. Those those caddis tend to be in fast water. There are others like the caddis you'd find in, in slower water uh, would build out of sticks or, or vegetable debris on the bottom. And there are some like the green rock worm that just roam roam the bottom free. So if you were to try and identify what variety of caddis by lifting up a rock, a lot of times the key is what type of case or cocoon that they have. In this particular case, the granum caddis has a four-sided chimney-like case, which they live in until they uh, then float to the surface and uh, uh, shed their shed their uh, their shell and and fly off into the bushes. Um, the life cycles a year, uh, most of which is spent underwater. Once they become adults, they can they usually fly into the bushes, and they'll hang and mate there. That may take up to a month. It's not like mayflies that their their whole adult life could be a matter of a couple of days, where they they come out, molt, fly up into the trees, molt again, mate, form their swarms, lay their eggs, and die spent on the ground on on the top of the water. Another interesting thing that different, uh, differentiates the caddis from the mayfly is the, uh, the way they lay their eggs. It's really cool. They, can, uh, they have the ability to fly down, break the surface film, swim down to the bottom, lay their eggs, come back up. And they can do this several times. It's not just one and done and then they're spent lying on the top of the water. So there are, are patterns that, that mimic the, uh, the adult swimming underwater. As, uh, as well as the spent caddis. But again, this fly here is meant to uh, replicate um, uh, the granum, uh, which is green. Um, uh, I've put segmentation in to make it look more larval. I've added a, uh, a little bit of a crystal flash for the legs underneath um, the parachute, just as an attractor. Um, one of the cool things about the granum hatch is they can drift a really, really long time before they uh, before they actually hatch into adults. Which means if the uh, if the larvae are releasing in the in the faster current, doesn't matter. You could be downstream a good distance in in slow moving flats and still have a hatch going on, um, which is great. The trout will take a closer look because the water's slow and they'll have a better chance to uh, to examine the fly but um, it's nice to have the the uh, opportunity to to fish not just one section of the river because that's where, where it's all going on but the uh, the hatch will probably take place in the uh, in the faster water so if you're fishing nymphs um, that's where you you want to be um, especially early in the morning uh, these these flies tend to get off the uh, off the surface really quick, um, so the, the the other stages are more important than the adult. Although uh, uh, a deer's hair caddis 
or an X caddis is great, great as well. Uh, the, this is a very substantial portion of uh, a good, healthy uh, trout river's trout's diet. Uh, Maybe even more, more so than the mayfly, depending upon where you are. But they're worldwide, There's the, and the hatches can be really, really intense and prolific. I remember seeing a documentary where there's a uh, adult brown bear uh, eating caddis as a food source. There were so many on the rocks, he's just going around the rocks licking the hundreds and hundreds of caddis. And the, if you've ever witnessed the, uh, the, uh, the migration that happens at night, sometimes all the females will, will begin to... Uh, to fly and they fly upstream all together and it's kind of like a blizzard um, slow moving really it really is something to see uh, and many times when you see that they're not even on the water um, so the fishing sucks uh, uh, if you happen to be walking along the banks always shake the bushes and see what kind of cat has come out because they'll be in the bushes um, and that's a good opportunity if you can to catch them they're not so easy to catch and take a look um, size color shape uh, especially the silhouette and the color are keys here uh, the size is very important so by being able to see what it is that's in the bushes you can uh, get an idea of what might be on the water not as easy to see on the water and identify on the water so um, anyway, uh, when you're fishing this, you don't want to put your, uh, you know, your dressing, your floatant on the, the body. You want to put it on the parachute and on the, uh, the post. That'll keep the fly riding uh, underneath the surface film, or hopefully. Anyway, this is a, uh, a good pattern for a much anticipated hatch. Won't be long soon, and uh, thanks for watching. I've included some flies that I've tied that uh, again correlate to this hatch at the end, different stages, the bead head, um, the, the adult uh, deer hair, um, and, uh, and the emerger. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Cause I'm still in love with you I wanna see you